We unpacked 400 bikes, palletized them, less than an hour. So now I'm on my way to the Vesalia because that's where the KRC safety equipment is. They're going to be setting up the road blockages. I'm getting that and I'm going to be paying for uh, getting 208 frames and I'm going to take those over the day before and then drop them off. I got a little bit of a donation from them uh, by cutting the price. I think this will uh, only cost me $2,000. Keeping in mind that I only have $600 in sponsorship money. Oi, I need a lot of registrations. I'm done over here at KRC. Also got some recommendations for some other uh, sanitation companies. Paid my money. Now I'm going to go into Kingsburg, uh, pick up some uh, printings that I'm having done through another sponsor, thank goodness and then uh, start uh, go to the police station, yada yada yada, talk to people, distribute stuff. I just came out of the police department. I was seeing if I can get a motorcycle cop to be a lead moto for free. That was the key thing. Now it only costs $500, around $500, to hire the, uh, the officer for the day, which is a great price actually, but I just, I have like $600 in sponsorship, and so that's going into other areas, so uh, I've got to be real frugal this first year. Now that I've made more contacts for next year, things should go a lot smoother, the sponsorship money should be greater. Time to go eat, one of my sponsors. Okay, that was good. Deli Casa. You guys are here, you gotta go there. Now it's time to pass out the flyers to the residents. I've already done that to the businesses. So I found, when I was walking around testing, handing these out to the residents, I saw some pretty big holes on that one rough section. They took the information and it looks like they're gonna patch it. Alright, I think I'm done here. It didn't cost me as much as I thought it was gonna cost me. So I'm going back and work on the budget. So now it's the end of the day. Got a lot of stuff done. Spent a lot of money today too. But fortunately not as much as I thought I was going to spend. Which is important because now I'm starting to get close to break even. And part of the reason is that one of those vendors that I was going to hire uh, for setting with the finish line, he's not able to make it because of uh, family obligations. Any other finish line that I get is going to cost me a lot more and I just can't afford that. So that's where you saw the, the picture of that trailer that I was looking at to see if it can house a couple of tables and uh, the officials and a camera and uh, the announcer and it looks like it can. So uh, that's a thousand dollars I won't have to spend. May not look as good as what it can look but, uh, but it's definitely going to work. Uh, next year when I have more sponsorship because I've made a lot more contacts now when I when I first came into doing this race, I have absolutely no contacts. You may remember from another video that I've done that the key for uh, coming into a small town like this, we don't live there, is to uh, have a champion, a local champion that knows people that can get things done. Well, I didn't have that, but I'm starting to get those contacts in, so next year it should be more fruitful. Uh, let's see, what else can I uh, tell you? Oh, we learned quite a few things about porta potties. So previously when I've had porta potties at my races, they, the races have been out in the middle of nowhere that you have to drive around just to see if you can find the porta potty if you weren't associated with a bike race. Or it wasn't a gated community, which, and so those porta potties were protected. Now those porta potties are not going to be protected. They're going to be in a downtown area. So if there's any uh, homeless people there, what happens? What usually happens is that uh, you use that for shelter. Uh, maybe they'll start a little fire in there to uh, stay warm or to cook and all of a sudden the inside just burned out. Uh, and then I gotta go pay for that. Fortunately, Kingsburg does not have any homeless people that I've seen of and I'm, I, was, I was talking with the, the city manager there and they don't have that problem, at least not yet. But still, 
I'm going to get locks and lock up those units after the event and then pick up those locks early Monday morning before they go and pick up the units and take them back to their uh, company. There's a lot more logistics things coming up, but that's going to be in another video. I'm seeing if I can get onto the calendar for the district down south, and that'll be a huge thing uh, because the Vaselli race is down there. And so if I can get mine with them to be listed on the calendar, then people from down there uh, see that as a, a two-day race, so to speak, and then sign up for my race too. And there's not a lot of competition from down south. Northern district where I live, there's a huge amount of competition. We have uh, collegiate races going on. Then we have circuit race. That's a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. I've done that last year, and I like that. Uh, I wish I was uh, stronger at that. That's, uh, that's, that's a pretty nice race there. And then there's another race putting on, put on by the same promoter the next day, which I think the, the course is going to be uh, challenging too. I'm not familiar with the course. I haven't done that one, but I think it's going to be uh, you know, some ups and downs also, uh, where the races, the race I'm putting on, and that big Vesalia race the next day, the Michelob Ultra Sequoia Cycling Classic, they are flat and they are fast, and the, the small town atmosphere is, uh, is stuff that you read about. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, come to my race, Kingsburg Crit, and comment, like, subscribe for Cycling Greek.